I know uranium isn't the only thing that you know about. Are there any other commodities that you're going to be watching closely this year? Oh, well, I, you know, I'm much more, much better known for uh, uh, the Calandra Report and the Calandra Network. Much better known for uh, platinum, copper, uh, gold, especially. Right. I remember at CBS Market Watch or MarketWatch.com, dyeing my hair gold when gold was at four hundred dollars an ounce. Uh, we were living in London at the time, and I was building uh, one of our products for Europe. So that was a lot of fun, and I think we're going to have a lot more fun with gold. Zinc is, is getting to be more and more interesting, of course. I'm a big believer in Ivanhoe. Now, of course, so is everyone else. But I've owned Ivanhoe, and it was a private company in South Africa in 2003. And uh, Ivanhoe has terrific zinc, copper, uh, gold and platinum properties, and, and palladium and nickel in South Africa, in, in the DRC, Congo. You know, I think if you really want to roll the dice, and I own some of, of this one as well, on zinc and copper, uh, Thunderstruck, Thunderstruck Resources is uh, tiny. You know, it's like, if, it, if it's a guy an $8 million market cap, that would be a lot. It's on the island of Fiji, you know, zinc on Fiji, I'll take it. It's a lottery ticket. I know the management and, uh, you know, they're honest, I respect them. If zinc continues to do well, as it has been, some of these uh, industrial metals have done well, zinc, cobalt, uh, lithium even, uh, I think will do well. But mostly on zinc, my exposure comes through Ivanhoe, a tiny bit through Thunderstruck, and a company called Golden Valley Mines in Quebec. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Pleasure. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. Um, once again, I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and this is Tom Collette.